My name is Blessie Jacob and I started with FCS in August of 2015 after I finished my training at Moffitt Cancer Center and I work at the Englewood and Venice Health Park location. So I was born and raised in Miami and I actually grew up right across the street from Jackson Memorial Hospital and University of Miami. And my parents joked that I used to sit on the balcony of our apartment when I was two and three years old and say, I'm gonna work there, I'm gonna be a doctor. So I knew I was gonna be a doctor from when I was very, very young. So I'm the first physician in my family, which was amazing and obviously challenging because I didn't really have a precedent to follow. A lot of times medicine is a legacy profession. I'm starting my own legacy. I hope one of my two girls or maybe both girls will grow an interest for medicine, but I'm also not gonna force them, of course. They're free to do whatever they like, but it's been, a humbling experience because even though I knew I was going to be a doctor all along, the challenges that you face, obviously training and going through medical school and residency and fellowship, everything that you prepare to do is a marathon of a sport, essentially. So I really love treating breast and lung cancer patients, breast cancer patients especially because I feel like as a woman, I can relate on a different level because anatomically I obviously understand, you know, what it might be like to be disfigured by breast surgery or be affected by that. I think what most patients feel and observe about me is that I am down to earth, easy to talk to, and I try to be relatable to the patient. You know, some patients have asked me to pray with them, which I'm totally comfortable with, or, you know, meditate with them or suggest things that may be helpful to them. And I'm, I'm game for all of that. I'm here to obviously try and make their journey as comfortable for them as possible and as com you know as comfortable for their families and I just want to be real and be honest so I'm always honest about myself as well as prognoses for instance I try to be as clear about maybe timelines and what to expect with the disease try to keep it as real so their expectations are manageable